What's up you guys? Nathan Bell here doing a Marvel Legends review on the Grim Reaper from the Ant-Man series build a figure Ultron Wave. So before I get this baby cracked open, let's take a look at the packaging. So right there it says Ant-Man. And then at the top it's got a little ant, well not really little man, it's pretty big. And then you get Marvel Legends Infinite Series Grim Reaper with the Hasbro logo on the side. You got the army of ants. And then on the back you have Grim Reaper himself. And then it has a short bio on the back. See if I can focus up on that for you guys to see. Not really. But anyways, it says, Feeding on a spare, Eric Williams ushers enemies to their demise with his life-draining size. Oh my god, I am shaking in my boots. So, let's get this thing cracked open. So here is Grim Reaper out of the packaging, man. And, uh, you know, my first thought is there's not a lot of decos on them. Just, I mean, you get the skull... Which is actually done pretty clean, man. It actually is. I only got a little bit of bleeding. It's right in the middle. You can't really pick it up on my camera. But just a little bleeding right there. But everything else looks really clean, man. Nothing else really broke off or bleed, bled through besides there's just this little one, man. Because I went to Walmart, so I got to pick from quite a few of them, man. Uh, the Super Walmart, about an hour away from me, man, probably had like five sets of these. So I got lucky. I got to pick which ones I wanted that had the, you know, the penner, uh, better paint apps. But... And this guy doesn't have that bad of googly eyes, dude. Which I was kind of excited about. He doesn't really have bad googly eyes. Let me see if I can focus up a little bit. Come on, camera. Nothing, man. Camera doesn't want... There we go. His googly eyes aren't that... I mean, they kind of look worse on camera, but in person, man, they're not really that bad. And his face is sinister, dude. I don't know what's going on there. It's like he is on a binge right now, dude. He's got to laugh the mess if you catch my drift. God damn. But I like it, dude. I believe... uh. His body sculpt is brand new. It's a new sculpt that hasn't been used before, but it almost looks like the Bucky Cat mold, dude. A little bit, but it's just bigger than the Bucky Cat mold. That, I mean, I have Ant-Man right uh, Giant Man right here. Looks a lot like the Bucky Cat, but just bulkier, dude. And I don't know if Grim Reaper was this bulky. You guys should let me know. I just don't think he was, man. He's beefed right up. I don't know what's going on there. But anyway, so you got a little bit of, you know, painted on gauntlets that are silver. See if I can get a close-up of those. See those? They're not that bad. They're not sculpted in there or anything. Just paint. And then on the other side, he has his scythe, man. And I think it's really funny because you probably can't pick this up on camera, but let me see if I can get it. There's like an R right there. I don't know. You guys probably can't see it. But anyways, there's an R, which, you know, that, that trips me out, man, because it's like, who does Hasbro have working over there where they can't tell the difference between, you know, a left and a right, man, but... I pretty much, you know, thought, I'm like, you know what, I'm just going to have that stand for Reaper, man. So, if any of my friends come over, man, why is there an R right there? That stands for Reaper, man, not right, Reaper. So, I thought that was pretty cool. Then you take off the back. Look at, man, just looking shredded, dude. Just straight shredded. He's got a peg hole in the back for his cape, which I like his cape a lot. You got all the different, uh, you know, washes in there, man. Got some black wash with the purple, dude. That looks really good, man. I don't think Vision's cape has that. I don't think it does. I think it's just the whole yellow, which that would have been cool if they would have, you know, added some different colors in there. But what are you going to do? So this just plugs right in the pack hole, and then it slightly goes around the neck. So this isn't a permanent cape. You can take that off whenever you want and display it without the cape. But I really do like the scythe, too, man. You can see how you got some black wash in there, and then, the, you know, it goes down. There's more silver right there. Also, you know, on his Captain Hook hand, too, there's some washes in there. It's not just straight silver. There's a little bit of black wash in there, but... Head sculpt, man, you know, you got the brandly newly sculpt, you got the sinister face, then you got these little things coming out, and then the back is just the flat. His teeth, man, this guy just looks crazy, dude. It's like, do you see this guy in a dark alley, man? Turn the other way, dude. Just turn the other way. But then again, there's just no, you know, washes on the body at all, dude. So it's just kind of that navy blue color. But let me take the cape off and let's get into some articulation. So, he does have ankle pivot, and his foot goes up that far, goes back that much, and he does have a calf swivel, man, so that's pretty cool. And then he has a double-jointed elbow. He also has a thigh swivel. His leg can go up that much. Let me get his arm out of the way here. Goes up about that much, which that's actually pretty far, man. That's kind of impressive, dude. I think Grim Reaper can get some, you know, ballet up in there. And then it goes back that far, not very far, you know, because his butt, you know, restricts it, but goes legs go down about that far, which you can't really do a full split without his legs popping off, and he does have a waist swivel, he does have an ab crunch that goes in that much, and it goes back that much, so he, he does have a, come on, he does have a um, scythe rotation on his right hand, and then he has a, this also moves, I mean, yeah, and then he has a double jointed elbow, which is kind of hard, man, because that's just how it's set up, you don't want to pull that out of there, he does have a bicep swivel, 
This arm goes up about that much, and it goes down about that much, and it does a full 360. I just want to show you his other hand just because, you know, that's the scythe hand, but this is not a hinge, so I can go up and down, and it fully rotates, so his head can go up about that much, and it goes down that much, and it does do a full 360. So, let me just do a little size comparison for you. So, I think I already brought Giant Man in here, but I'll bring him right back in. Boom. So, Grim Reaper is taller than Giant Man. That's a trip, huh? Giant Man is shorter than the Grim Reaper. I'm just saying. But, I mean, if you guys just look at it, it does look a lot like the Bucky Cat mold, but just, like, enlarged, man. It has the peg hole and everything. This has the peg hole and everything. And then here he is next to the Build-A-Figure in that wave. Ultron, man, and Ultron just towers him. That's a really good size comparison, though. That's how Ultron should be, but... Hope you guys liked my video. If you did, please hit the like button. If you want to see more of my videos, please hit the subscribe button. And I will see you guys later. Peace.